Fisheye lenses are very unique and give you this very interesting look. The further away from the center of the image you come, the more distorted everything will be. And if you use it for video, it looks uh, kind of crazy. These lenses were very popular in the 90s for like skate videos and they might still be. I'm not sure, I'm not that into skate videos. <laughs> Anyways, you can also use them for making a macro lens. In this video you will learn how to convert your fisheye or ultra wide angle lens into a macro lens using extension tubes, which is pretty simple. But there are some pitfalls and some problems you will probably run into if you're not careful. So I just wanna make this little video about how to make your own ultra wide angle fisheye macro lens. And as you might know, I earlier did a video on how to do this with a microscope lens and a special adapter that you can 3D print. However, that does not give you the best image quality. So I think uh, it is uh, perfectly reasonable to look into using a regular fisheye lens as well. And as you might also know, Lawa makes this 15 millimeter ultra wide angle macro lens already that you can buy. But essentially what that lens is, is a regular ultra wide angle 15 millimeter lens with a little bit of extension tube attached to it. So why not do it yourself and save some money. Before we jump into the video just want to mention that yes this whole scene looks uh, like a mess. I'm in the middle of rearranging the studio to make it look nicer and I'm planning to get some better lighting, some better video camera and a nicer looking studio in general this year but uh, it's probably gonna take a while and um, while I'm doing it the videos are going to look a bit messy, sorry about that. So as you might know you can put some extension tubes between pretty much any lens and your camera to get closer and to essentially make a macro lens out of any lens but what you must understand is that the wider the focal length, the shorter the focal length, the less extension tubes you will need. So in the case of an ultra wide angle lens, like a fisheye lens, uh, this is the Volumex 12mm. Uh, Volumex is another name for Samyang, for whatever reason they use uh, different brand names in different countries. I think Volumex is the German <laughs> word for Samyang. Uh, anyways, this is a DSLR lens. This particular one is made for uh, Canon EF. And if you would try to put extension tubes between this lens and your camera, you would fail. <laughs> because I tried this. And with the shortest possible extension tube that you can find, which is usually 8 or 10 millimeters, what happens is actually that this lens is so wide so that the focus point is inside the lens. So it is impossible to focus on anything. So how I solved this particular problem in my case is that I use Sony mirrorless cameras and they have a shorter flange distance than a Canon EF DSLR. So I bought an adapter on eBay which is not only an adapter from Canon EF DSLRs to Sony mirrorless cameras but it also acts as a helicoid. So look at this. I can actually just twist it like this and extend it. So if 8 or 10 millimeters is too much uh, to get a lens that is actually possible to use as a macro lens, then with this I can get as little as just one millimeter or even half a millimeter of extension, which might be needed in some cases. So uh, I simply just put this adapter on here and then I attach it to my Sony a7 IV mirrorless camera and then I can adjust the magnification by just turning this helicoid. So this is one trick that you can use to uh, use a fisheye lens as a macro lens on your camera. However, in some cases it's actually possible to use regular extension tubes on a fisheye lens or super wide angle lens and get the macro lens with a focusing point which is actually uh, on the front of the lens and not inside it. And recently Astrohori, this new lens brand from China that I really like, asked if they could send me uh, one of their fisheye lenses and I said yes please. And this is the 12mm f2.8 from Astrohori. I'm not going to review this lens, but I've used it a bit and I really like it. Astrohori is great because 
In the same sense as Venus optics, they uh, tend to come up with uh, lenses that no one has made before or that are uncommon and they make them really well with good optics and very good build quality and really low price. Astrohori, they are insane value for money. This one as well. I think this one is... Uh, I think it's like less than $300 for this lens, which is really good value for money. But since this is a lens optimized for mirrorless cameras, they've actually been able to make it shorter than the corresponding DSLR lens. As you can see, the Astrohori here is uh, slightly uh, shorter, and this actually makes it possible for me to use an extension tube. This is the shortest extension tube I own uh, for Sony cameras and it's 10 millimeters. And if I put this on, I actually get around one time magnification around life size and an extremely short working distance. I mean, I need to almost touch the subject with the lens, but still it works with an extension tube, which is great. So this is good to know if you want to cheap, simple, fisheye macro lens, you can buy the Astrohori 12mm and attach 10mm of extension tube and you will have a very nice fisheye macro lens. And with a fisheye lens you obviously get a bit of distortion but you get this really cool look, especially in macro photography, it just looks very interesting uh, when you take some photos with it. The downside though is that since the front element is very large and since you have a very short working distance it is very hard to light your subject. The light needs to come like almost directly from the side or, or you need to have some really good natural light and it's very easy to accidentally shade your subject with the lens. That is a big problem and a big issue. And of course if you're gonna shoot insects with a lens like this it's also a problem, it's very hard. Uh, you can watch my video about the Laowa 15mm, as you can see in that video, it is possible to shoot insect with an ultra wide angle lens with almost no working distance, but it definitely is a challenge and the lighting is also a big challenge. But when you get it right, when you get a shot that works, it can look amazing and very unique. If you want to learn more about the Laowa 15mm ready-made wide-angle macro lens that you can buy for like $400 or if you want to learn more about my homemade $25 wide-angle fisheye macro lens that I made with a 3D printed adapter, I've linked these videos here for your clicking convenience. Also, please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. I work full time with these macro photography videos, but unfortunately I still lose money every month, so your support is greatly appreciated.